What is up, Ravens Flop? Huge shout out for your support for the 410 Sports Talk. Chance and Glenn are the best in the business. Make sure you go subscribe to their channel. Let's go, Ravens. Big trust. Uh, welcome in everyone to another episode of 410 Sports Talk. I'm Glenn Martin here with my co-host James Haskell. Uh, in a in a sad a sad episode at 410 Sports Talk. Uh, another um, a member of the Ravens history, a member of um, Ravens Nation, uh, has unfortunately uh, passed away as um, former Ravens defensive lineman Tony Saragusa uh, died today at the age of 55. Um, in his home um yeah so uh that's why we're here today to kind of kind of celebrate the life of tony saragusa and and the personality that was the goose um if anyone um any any ravens fan that's been around for a little while or a really football fan in general because certainly tony had a personality that um it stretched much further than just the walls of of the castle and 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 Mm -hmm. you know the, the ravens flock uh Tony Saragusa had a had, had certainly a one of a kind personality, wouldn't you say, Jimbo? Hundred percent. I mean, I know that you know he uh, also spent time with the Colts, but I think more than anything, he will be remembered for his time as a Raven uh, and the impact he had here on the organization. And you know, there's a few things I want to mention about Tony Saragusa that uh, come to my mind. You know, I mean, I've talked about this before on the show, like being a young kid. I mean, that 2000 2001 year, I was young. And, uh, I mean, I was what, like six years old at that point or so, uh, five or six. And I remember a few things. Like I remember jumping over, I remember jumping over the the goal line and trying to be Jamal Lewis. I remember, you know, trying to run stuff back like Jermaine Lewis. Uh, but I remember Tony Saragusa and one of the things that resonated with me was now looking back since I'm an older person is like his story, right. Being an undrafted guy, just being gritty um, didn't take anything from anyone would punch anyone in the mouth. Now, I mean that figuratively, right? Well, and probably literally in some cases with Tony, um, but certainly figuratively in his game. Right. Mm-hmm. And he very much matched the culture that that is familiar to people here in Baltimore city. We're not a waspy, you know, white collar city. We're blue collar lunch pail city. And, and, and we consider ourselves tough, hard nosed, get your job done type people. And, and I think Tony really resonated with that. And I don't think it's an exaggeration to say, that he's one of the reasons I really started to love watching the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah. Uh, Cause he was such a personality, like you said, on that defense and then, you know, match that with a story. And it was just an absolute blast. What else would make you want to watch a, a big old defensive lineman? You know what I mean? How many guys yeah. have the draw that that guy had back in the day? Could you imagine today with social media? And if he was playing today, he'd be the most popular no. defensive tackle in the NFL. No doubt about it. That, that That's really you know, what made Tony so, so different. I mean, we talked about how the, the, the Ravens organization is built on defense and it's built on the, that blue collar. Well, Tony was a big part of making that the reality that it is today. I mean, this is a guy who was an absolute fan favorite. You talk about a list of, of your favorite Ravens. Uh, if I talk to my, you know, my father and, 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 you know, guys a little bit older than us, cause I'm, I'm 35. And, and so I was, I was pretty young when they won their when their Super Bowl. I mean, I was 13, so I was certainly um, cognizant of what's going on and a huge football fan. But especially talking to the older guys, um, man, he just seemed like a regular guy, and that's what they really loved about him. I mean, it, and I and I remember I was telling Jimmy about, about a year ago or so. I rewatched Hard Knocks, the first Hard mm-hmm. Knocks, which of course was right after the Ravens won their Super Bowl, and Tony was still here and. It was his final here in ba- final year playing and here in Baltimore, and just the most personality you could imagine. I mean, if there was a prank being made, it was Tony who was behind the prank, and usually he was getting Shannon Sharp, or he was pranking Ray, or he was messing with you know all the old all the older guys, uh, giving all the older guys a hard time, but also giving the rookies a, a nice uh, hard time as well, and making sure that they got their their um their fair rookie hazing i remember he 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 wedged a a table and had them all locked inside of an office because i mean he just was so full of personality i remember him convincing uh rookies on there to to go take his way in because he's like man i'm not <laughs> look i'm not out here to be getting weighed in coach like and bell and billick is trying to talk to him and he's talking to him as if he, like a peer he doesn't talk to him like a like a a, a 
a coach talks to a player. He's like, come on, man. I'm trying to set an example for the young guys. I can't have you out here convincing young guys to do your way in for you. Like he just, uh, I mean, he famously drank away his thousand dollar signing bonus when he signed on as a rookie undrafted, like, the guy loved to 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 he loved to play football, um, but he also loved to enjoy you know life outside of football and and you know having good times and laughs and um, but of course his impact on the field was immeasurable. I mean this guy was a part of the greatest defense in the history of football and really a big part of what made that defense so spectacular was the run defense and uh, I I don't think there's really a bigger part in that run defense than than Tony Saragusa and allowing Ray Lewis to really become. Yeah the legend that he was by taking up so many blockers um, and preventing any offensive lineman from getting to the next level and letting Ray just run free and be the physical, you know, physical freak that he was um, and, and really make a name for himself. So, I mean, uh, Tony, and then also, you know, what he did is, uh, you know, his post playing career as a, as a, an on air personality, he was mm-hmm. just charismatic. He was hilarious. Um, uh, and, and you know, Jimbo, how many how many D tackles at his size can say they got twenty two and a half sacks? I mean, he was just it's an crazy athlete, to think man. about, right? I mean, yeah, crazy to think about. I mean, he's one of those kids that you know he, he's extremely blessed in his ability to to move at such such a you know the size that he carried. He you know, no pun intended, absolutely larger than life in his personality. And then you know, on the field, I mean, like you said, crazy athlete. Uh, it's crazy to think about even, you know, Tony Saragusa, you look at him, you're like crazy athlete. What? And then you watch him and you're like, okay, this dude's a crazy athlete. Right. So a hundred percent. I mean, I agree with everything you said. And, and yeah, that, that run in 2000, 2001 was, was such a blast. And he, just like you said, it was exactly what was on my mind is that he had so much to do with the early development of Ray Lewis that, you know, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, unquantifiable the amount of impact that he had on Ray's career Um, because early on confidence and the ability to be able to execute at the level that Ray did isn't, doesn't happen with a guy like that. It doesn't happen without a guy like that in front of him. So yeah, I mean, everything about Tony from top to bottom is every once in a while you find guys that are meant to be Ravens period. Like it makes me laugh. And, and like to me, Gus Edwards was meant to be a Baltimore Raven. Everything about the way he runs, matches stylistically with the Ravens, right? Like Tony was meant to be a Raven, Ed, Ray, like there's certain guys that you're like, all right, this just, this is a match made in heaven. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Um, and, and, and worlds collided and, and it worked out. So yeah, I mean, we'll miss Tony Saragusa forever. Um, yeah, and like you said, I, I, in, when we talk about Jalen Ferguson, I'm sure the Ravens will do everything that they can to support his family and any need that they have. And then also, you know, put on, show him, the respects that he deserves as, you know, as much as he sacrificed for the franchise, uh, whether that's in game or, you know, on the field, as far as like putting something on the field or putting something up in the, the stadium, I'm sure they'll do something to recognize Tony this season yeah. as well as Jalen. Um, but uh, yeah, man, absolutely shocking and a really sad day for Baltimore Ravens fans. For all of you that are our younger viewers, like Glenn said, he was 13. I was, you know, when the Ravens came to town, I was like six. And then when they won that Super Bowl, I was around 10. Um, but I have the fortunate memory of those days. Like, go back and watch. Yes. Like, it's on Tony YouTube. Saragusa. Yeah. If he's if it's just a name for you, just go back and watch. Like, yes. not even just on, 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 like, the football stuff. Like Glenn said, go watch the Hard Knocks. Like, the dude is just hilarious. Mm-hmm. I just watched a clip of him going to the Toys R Us after he saw his kids. Like, it had been two weeks since he saw his kids. And it was the exit just only. And he everything. just opened the door. He just opened the doors. Uh, nice. Like he went in the exit. Like he's, you know, he's not, but he's like, eh. And he just opened it's the Tony. automatic doors. Yeah. And then his kid walks up this action figure and he's like, punch him in the face. <laughs> oh, he seemed Love like it, the, man. the cool, like the, if that's your dad, like you're having a blast all the time. If that's your pops. Yep. Um, yeah. I mean, he just, he was just a special, special dude. Um, and a guy that's going to be, I mean, he's going to be missed in a, in a big, big way. It's a, just a really really sad day but yes i encourage anyone um if you're if you if you only know the name just go to youtube it's it's watch hard knocks first season the inaugural season you will he is the star of that series there's just no doubt about it and you will laugh 
you will laugh. Um, you will laugh a ton just by watching the antics that Tony Saragusa brings and the uniqueness. I mean, I don't know if you could get away with, you know, the way you know he he the way he did the is that he, the yeah, like he just he said I'm gonna do it my way, and uh, you know, people loved him. Um, and he, he performed. So, um, you know, he certainly, he certainly was able to do it his way. And so, um, but yeah, I mean, let it certainly uh, welcome to share your thoughts and, 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 uh, and comments down below on, 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 you know, your thoughts on Tony and, and, uh, just really the sad day that is, uh, today in, in Ravens nation. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we'll talk soon.